gosh, welcome to our version of Wiki What. Um, I think you're a little bit familiar with this premise, no? Thank you, yes, I'm very familiar, very comfortable. It's, uh, it's nice to be sitting on the other side of the computer. Is it? It's not <laughs> intimidating at all? Nope, I feel very at ease, and Great. you've been a very soothing presence thus far. Perfect. Wiki What is a, is a Facebook watch show. And on it, you play a wikipedia -trician. is that correct? It is correct. And what do you do for celebrities that come on the show? So celebrities come in and we go through their Wikipedia page and we mm -hmm. edit for the pillars of Wikipedia. Let me see if I can remember them without uh -huh. notes. Uh, accuracy, yes. relevancy, uh -huh. neutrality. So we try to just get good stories out of people by seeing what's right and what's wrong on the Wikipedia page. And it's been, uh, it's been really fun. I think that sounds super helpful because I would imagine celebrities don't have the time to go through their own pages. No, and I, I think there's, uh, I, I think it's fun. Some of them have never even seen their own pages before. Really? Yeah. Huh. So their people are very surprised by what others have said about them or like <laughs> believed to be true, like right. enshrined in internet encyclopedia. Which is something you think they would be concerned about. Yes. That's like the record of the internet. Yeah. But also you can't edit your own page. So like if you look at your own page and something's wrong, you're just like, Ugh! <laughs> internet. <laughs> You have to like ask phone a friend and be like, can you please help yeah, me out? Yeah, yeah. Interesting. I would think it should be only the person who can edit their own Wikipedia page. Right, so you could just be like, nah, I don't think so. That's not, uh, that's not how it happened. So I'm gonna click edit and we are gonna go through your Wikipedia page. Oh boy. For accuracy, mm -hmm. relevancy, and neutrality. Sure. Okay, he is known for his work as a <laughs> Well, writer. let me stop you there. <laughs> He's not. Okay. <laughs> but he really thinks he's done. <laughs> okay, how about he is? Yep. Great. A writer on Last Week Tonight. <laughs> what would you say you're known for, though? Ooh. I mean, in what circles? Fair. Mm -hmm. uh, he's known amongst his ex-girlfriends as work-obsessed and easily distracted. Uh -huh. uh, he's known amongst his family members as dragging his feet on coming home for the holidays. Yeah. Um, He's known amongst his friends as missing everyone's weddings. Oh no. <laughs> uh, truly monstrous. Truly monstrous. Um, he's, he's known by his dog as the guy that gives the second best belly rubs. Oh, mm -hmm. well that's, you know what, that's an accurate assessment by your dog, yeah. I would say. That's fair. Mm -hmm. um, so he is a writer. <laughs> yep. We won't get into personal right now, because this is just sure, our, of course. our blurb. Mm -hmm. uh, on Last Week Tonight with John Oliver. That's correct. And for co-creating the parody Twitter account, hashtag Seinfeld today. Huh. Yeah. Oh. Seinfeld. So it no, be it's at. at Seinfeld today, yeah. Which I'm sure the hashtag could get you there. Yeah. It, but at. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. the, the Twitter account is. Right. Absolutely. Perfect. Okay. Do we feel that's fair? Certainly. Right. Um, early life and education. Mm -hmm. uh, were you born in Stoneham or Stoneham? Stoneham. It? It's one of those weird Massachusetts towns where you just, it's just like, kind of stone them. And like, <laughs> dead them, need them. Okay. And violent towns. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's so like, <laughs> violent towns. They sound like... That's the name of Ben Affleck's new movie. <laughs> All the Afflecks in violent in towns. In violent towns. Yeah. Uh, after college, Gahneman worked as a preschool teacher. Is That's that true? true. I did. I taught pre-K really? for a number of years. Yeah. Okay. Um, and before that, I also I was an assistant. That was always my mm -hmm. like summer job as a preschool. As, uh, excuse me, a summer program at a school. I was okay. an assistant, and I taught elementary school Spanish for two years. Really? Yeah. Which I was so deeply unqualified for that like we probably shouldn't mention it because okay. the parents of those kids will be like. Wait a minute, that's that guy? I no. mean, we did just add your minor in Spanish. Okay, you know what, let's leave it at that. <laughs> so yeah, on we'll paper, it, yeah. okay, Anne taught elementary school Spanish? Yeah, K through eight. Okay. Mm -hmm. Four grades. One of the, my, the best thing that happened when I was teaching Spanish was yeah. I was teaching um, direct object pronouns. Okay. And I wrote on the whiteboard, I wrote the notorious DOPs for direct object pronouns. Uh -huh. and, the, and, and then I wrote, mo money, mo pronouns. <laughs> and then the students who, this was 2007, okay. and they were 12. Uh -huh. So they were like, um, who, I was like, D just for my own, to satisfy my own curiosity, yeah. I said to them, do any of you know who the notorious B.I.G. was? Mm -hmm. And this one girl mm -hmm. raised her hand and so sweetly was like, um, he was a music artist who was implicated in a plot to murder Tupac Shakur. <laughs> and I was like, wow. <laughs> extremely more than I bargained this for. This was, it would knock my socks off. <laughs> 
Anyway, that's what I remember from being an educator. <laughs> okay, personal one. This one's one sentence, two sentences. Yeah. Uh, Gallman is married to Maris Kreisman. Did I pronounce that correctly? Nailed that. Great. Uh, the creator of the blog Slaughterhouse uh, 90210, which is also a book, no? It is also a book okay. called Slaughterhouse 90210, the book. Um, and book. Mm -hmm. Give credit where credit is due. Thank you. Um, they live in Brooklyn. We do live in Brooklyn. Is there anything else you want to add yeah. about your personal life? Certainly. Uh, we should maybe add they live in Brooklyn mm -hmm. with bi with Busy. Yes. How would you describe Busy? Oh. I mean, do we have the time? We can try. Um, the, she is, uh, I mean, in terms of accuracy, relevancy, and neutrality. Sure. Um, the, Be as neutral as possible about your dog. It's hard <laughs> because I feel such, I feel immoderately about her and that I care for her very much. Yes. Um, also about Maris, but <laughs> also I understand <laughs> with, with, with a human person, you can list her objective achievements Other, yes. right you can be like she had a blog and it became a book mm -hmm. but like with a dog it's like i mean objectively it's hard to be like she, busy is the smushiest little goober well mm -hmm. great mm -hmm. she's a pug mm -hmm. and she is the a senior pug is what people say yes that's mm -hmm. good to know yeah she's a senior level pug <laughs> great i'll put that in parentheses mm -hmm. Level pug, the smushiest little goober. Yeah, she is the smushiest little. I would say that's accurate, relevant, and neutral. Thank you. I, I feel like busy, yeah, that's a fair assessment. She's like exceptionally smushy, and definitely a little goober. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, um, I think that's the important stuff about my personal life. Okay, yeah. I like that. Um, well, Josh, I feel like we've done some good work here today. Um, I'll add in some citations as needed. Sure. Thank uh, you. I probably won't prescribe a follow-up consultation mm -hmm. here, but I, I appreciate your time. Oh, of today. course. Thank you for having me. I feel like um, you are as good a better or better a me than I am. <laughs> no, I feel like you're the expert of you. I'm just the facilitator here. Uh, we did some good work today. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Sammy.